News, Nairobi. Oh, the coming days will definitely be very interesting. Still in politics, as mere leader Royal Odinga has been missing in action ever since he declared his bid for the Africa Union Commission chairperson position, his bid got a major boost after the government began and, of course, spearheaded the campaign for his bid. Although the Azimio coalition has backed his candidature for the AUC job, it appears Raila has left the role of keeping the government in check to his allies, with critics saying he is doing a balancing act. But could Raila Odinga be a man at crossroads? k political affairs reporter Daniel Karuki interrogates. If time could be turned back, opposition chief Raila Odinga could be exploiting every available opportunity to bash the Kenya Kwanzaa administration for the unending health workers' strike, the accidents that has caused deaths in the country, and the fake fertilizer subsidy program that has hit headlines recently could have provided him with fodder and arsenal to hit the government very hard. Unlike in the past when Raila himself could issue news releases to media houses. Odinga has delegated his juniors to address the plight of Kenyans while his mom, probably due to his deal with President William Ruto, led government that is campaigning him for his African Union Commission chairmanship bid, probably informed by a quote, don't talk with food in your mouth. The position leader is not an individual's work. It has to be a collective responsibility. We have the yoke of leadership, the yoke of responsibility resting on our shoulders. Him being quiet during this period that he is uh, uh, really campaigning for the AU, a commission chairperson, does not mean that uh, he has abandoned the opposition. Raila is an, a, a, a politician who thinks for himself. On the health workers' strike, Kenyans have continued to bear the brand of the strike. But yet, Odinga, who has presented himself as the people's president, has not uttered a word. The Azimio leader at one time mounted a serious campaign against the health cabinet secretary, Susan Nakumicha, and all principal secretaries in her ministry over the 3.7 billion shillings Kenya Medical Supplies Authority scandal. Could Odinga be finding himself at crossroads? Remember the things that he has talked about, which he cannot now perhaps speak about because he needs uh, William Ruto's vote. So he cannot now say, Sakayo Shuka Chini. <laughs> <laughs> we will say that on his behalf. And when we add our energy there, when we add the megalomania there, when we add the vela there, then things will be so well for the Kenyan citizens. If the government would have asked Raila to remain silent, his foot soldiers would not be speaking on behalf of uh, the opposition today. If it happens that he is winning this position, chances are that another person should be groomed to take up that position. According to political analyst, Odinga is torn between assuming his opposition role and pleasing the government since he was the government's project in his AUC chairmanship bid. Governance and foreign affairs expert Professor Peter Kagwanja says, and I quote, he kept quiet a long time ago probably because of the deal. He can't present himself as a defender of the voiceless and the downtrodden, end of quote. On his part, Charles Njoroge, a political pundit, noted that as a result of Raila being caged, young leaders are trying to fill the void and become people's watchmen. He says, and I quote, Babu Owino and the young tax have seen an opportunity and want to succeed Raila, and it's good strategy because even if he, Odinga, directs his party officials to speak on behalf of Kenyans, they can feel in his shoes and hence need for a fresh voice. End of quote. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Right, away from that, the UDA party has asked the aspirant